and economic diversification was the center of a press conference called by the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI. The conference on the state of the nation has concluded that Nigeria needs to widen its industrial economic base. In addition, the president of the LCCI says even the oil sector needs to, needs to diversify away from crude oil exports and start refining. Correspondent Adebanke Odunui has more on this. It's the quarterly press conference of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI, taking place at the Commerce House. The Chamber commenced the consideration of the Petroleum Industrial Bill by the Nigerian lawmakers. It says it is making efforts to encourage the private sector to invest in the industry. The passage of the Petroleum Industry Bill by the Ninth Assembly is a welcome development. We commend the coordinated efforts of the House and the Senate specifically the committees involved in the process. Not just that, we are latching in into the new IT. We all know that what we have in the IT has created enough um, area of opportunity for the people that we are thinking they are unemployed, I mean, unemployable, and they are the youth that represent over that three percent we are talking about, about unemployment. The Chamber believes a unified exchange rate is a solution to the issue of the illiquidity in the foreign exchange market. As you are very much aware, there is still the issue of illiquidity in the market. There are still a lot of customers that need access to foreign exchange, but they cannot get it because of the fact that the volume there is not enough to meet their demand. So we still have a challenge. We have to get much more liquidity so that the needs of uh, the customers uh, can be met. And the only way you can do that is to have a truly unified exchange rate between the official NAFEX rate now and the powder market that will encourage everybody now to sell through, the, uh, through that particular rate. The Central Bank of Nigeria's export proceeds policy is said to be discouraging businesses from exporting goods. They're now being asked their income, when they make income, their export proceeds is now when it is um, converted into Naira. You know, it's done at the official rate. Whereas, you know, they would get more money if it's done at the parallel rate. So the point is it's creating a big gap. So people are not, businesses are not encouraged to export if what they're going to get at the end of the day is less than what they should be getting. After all said, the LCCI concludes that tackling insecurity is a major factor to achieving economic growth in Nigeria. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Odunui. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.